Unit 3 Awareness About Health Reading C. Ayurveda Suman was very happy that morning. She had rightly recognized some of the important herbs that her grandmother wanted her to bring from the backyard. Dadi had many little patches of the backyard where wild herbs were cared for. There were Lycopodium, Bringraj and Aloe Vera. She liked the names and wanted to see how Dadi prepared medicines from the herbs. Dadi, we eat so many fruits and vegetables. But how do wild plants make medicines when some people say they are poisonous? All plants have some special features and medical science owes the cure of many chronic diseases to the plant kingdom. Nature opens itself to Ayurveda with a cure to the chemical and biological imbalance. Dadi, have you studied all about Ayurveda? Suman asked. I will have to study the whole of Ayurveda all my life. I have only learnt a little till now. Will you tell me something about it? Suman asked curiously. There are several systems of medicines in the world. These mainly include allopathy, homeopathy and Ayurveda. Allopathy is today the mainstream system of health care and the treats the physical systems by using tried out medicines. Homeopathy is based on the doctrine of like cures like whereby a substance that causes the symptoms of a disease in healthy people will cure similar symptoms in sick people. Ayurveda is the ancient Indian system of natural and holistic medicine. When translated from Sanskrit, Ayurveda means the science of life. The Sanskrit root Ayur means longevity or life and Veda means science. While allopathic medicine tends to focus on the management of disease, Ayurveda provides us with the knowledge of how to prevent disease and how to eliminate its root cause if it does occur. How old is this science? Suman looked into Dadi's wrinkled face. Quite old, the knowledge of Ayurveda was passed on orally for thousands of years through the lineage of sages in India until it was collated into a text, said Dadi smiling. The oldest known texts on Ayurveda are the Charaka Samhita, Sushruta Samhita and the Ashtanga Rudaya. These texts detail the effect that the five elements found in the cosmic system earth, water, air, fire, space have on our individual system and expound on the importance of keeping these elements balanced for a healthy and happy life. Ayurveda places great importance on one's patya for lifestyle, eating habits and daily routine. Ayurveda also provides guidance on how to adjust our lifestyle based on the change of seasons. According to Ayurveda, each person will be influenced by certain elements more than others. This is because of their prakriti or natural constitution. Ayurveda categorizes the different constitutions into three different doshas. Yes, according to Ayurveda, each one of us has a unique mix of three mind-body principles which are responsible for our unique physical 
mental and emotional characteristics. These doshas are the governing principles of intelligence that literally govern everything in the universe and therefore each one of us including you. Dadi, what kind of doshas are they? Wrong things. Suman tried to confirm. The three doshas are known as Vat, Pit and Kaf.